Hello everyone, this is Walter Fate, and I'm back finally to bring you another video about Christine Weston Chandler, the author of Sonichu and a long-standing fascination for the internet. Today we've got a pretty big topic to cover. This is going to be about Chris Chan and feminism. As usual, I will try to link to the previous videos in the description, and I will be calling post-2016 Chris by feminine pronouns. Feel free to bitch me out in the comments about it, everyone always does. Now, Chris Chan has always liked women a lot more than men. When the doctor noted this, he took it as a diagnosis. I have made a lot of friends as well over the years, mostly female, because I was diagnosed for getting along better with girls than boys. And in my humble opinion, I could not agree more. Although I did have a few male friends in my lifetime who were all good, honest individuals, in general, I despise a majority of the male population because they can be such mean and cruel individuals. His high school gal pals apparently protected him from bullying, so it would make sense that he liked women better, but he has since been relentlessly trolled just as badly by women as men. Chris is willing to forgive the women on the nonsensical notion that even if they're being mean to him, they're still good to someone, generally meaning the man they're with. But right now I'd like to introduce you to Sonichu Girls, a forum full of trolls acting like they're female fans of Sonichu and Chris himself. Chris's introductory message here gives us a lot of information about his views on men and women. Aside from the understood fact, I feel that I am truly in touch with my feminine side, to the point where I am capable of learning from that to better to understand how to treat women in a caring, nurturing, positive way. I've also learned from Red Skelton of how to be a gentleman. Sometimes I wonder between my caring attitude and the lack of a sweetheart if I was born the wrong gender. I wonder what life would have been like if I had actually been born a girl. But afterwards, I'd realize that I should still appreciate being born a boy to gentlemen. God gave me the package and I signed for it. That seems to be a Family Guy reference, and I'm fairly certain Chris just used a semicolon in three sentences in a row. That isn't anywhere near the end of this post though, let's read the other relevant parts. Another thing I feel I should bring up is my honest feelings to validate my being straight, although it goes without saying. I honestly feel more comfortable around women because y'all are mostly more sympathetic and caring to another's feelings. Y'all are mostly honest in your conversations, y'all are emotionally better and stronger than the majority of the male population. And simply put, y'all are simply fun and delightful to be around. And while it is true, and I am not ashamed to admit it, that I have seen my share of porn, I have learned how to better positively treat a woman before, during, and after the act. I would definitely stay until she woke up and I would call her back later to see how her day was. And I have and would put the seat up and then back down when I used the restroom she would use later. But I digress. When it comes to the private parts, be they covered or not, I look more at the female parts and definitely her face, because not only of my being straight, but every one is truly a masterful work of God's art that is simply beautiful in their own way. But even more beautiful beyond that, which makes it truly a wondrous design, are the individual personalities. I care more about every woman's feelings and opinions over their body. On the flip side, I feel discomfort around men because they can be such mean and cruel jerks. I could go on with what I detest about them, but I will not stoop to their level of cruelty. Also, I feel discomfort when shopping for underwear for myself. They do not need models pictured on the package. It grosses me out to see that thing. It's bad enough that I sometimes see my own when I look down, of which I don't feel as much discomfort. But the very sight of others is like kryptonite to me. It makes me feel like throwing up even when the image randomly pops up in my head. Sigh. I'm okay. I just took some deep breaths. God, I feel like someone who's actually straight should have less of a reaction to seeing another man in underwear. Or, you know, no reaction? Well anyway, when Chris was first sent Sonichu fan art, he liked a couple of the pieces and was triggered by a couple others. In particular, Rose Chu was depicted with a penis. You know how women will protest for free the nipple by taking their tops off? Well, Chris apparently thought this was a good method with which to protest anything, and soon as Rose Chus were planning a stripping protest to... I guess stop people from drawing them with dicks? This is all part of the infamous Sonichu issue 8. The issue starts by emphatically declaring that both Sonichu and Rosechu are above 18 years old. They're Pokemon, Chris, who gives a shit? Unfortunately, this is followed by a sex scene, which is followed by a scene where they're reading a webpage by 4 Cent Garbage, which is Chris's parody of 4chan. 
Sonichu ends up puking on the floor when he sees Rose Chu with a pickle. He's quite allergic to pickles. Rose Chu eventually transforms into a monster and takes out Jason Kendrick Howell, the creator of Chris's ED page, though dark magic keeps him alive apparently. At this point everyone is showing up for their protest and they're really coming out of the woodworks considering there probably shouldn't be any more Rose Chews. A pointless 14 year old character named Zappino Rose Chu shows up to take part, but the original Rose Chu tells her she can't because of the dumb laws. For our rights as women among all people, I will overpower those slanderous jerks. It's important to note that Chris was being egged on by trolls from Sonichu Girls, but I also get the feeling that he was looking for an excuse to draw his female characters naked anyway. By the way, here's a good them feminist theme from a few pages later. After this concert, we will be superstars. We can have any man we want, and with that kawaii haircut of yours, you are as cute as Sailor Mercury. Yeah, just don't ask what Jigglyami is. She's clearly just a Jigglypuff stuck onto some poor woman's body like a head crab. Anyway, let's move on. Much later than this, around 2016, America would have another presidential election. And this time, Christine Chandler, now transitioning into a woman herself, would become very invested in this election. Christine was quite obsessed with Hillary Clinton, citing a couple good qualities like being a woman and not being rich. Okay. Yeah, Hillary's a real welfare case. So Christine then issued a series of death threats against then-president-elect Trump. If you haven't seen this, let me show you. Well, Mr. Trump, or Pemert, as I like to call you, in backwards bearing because you would hurt this country definitely. I have heard you won. Therefore, I hope you. Therefore, now you can feel the pain. I hope you feel this pain because You're a mean one, Mr. Trump. Now go die. And die again. Die, Trump. Die. As many of us know, Christine believes in voodoo and curses, so this is probably supposed to do something to him, much like hanging Michael Snyder, Mary Lee Walsh, and even Megan Schroeder dolls upside down is supposed to be causing them stress. Apparently Matt Groening is a big part of why Christine thinks Trump is going to destroy the country. However, this isn't about your or my politics, I'm just trying to get a better image of how Chris Chan looks at women's rights. We're winding down to the end of the video, so I'm just going to bring you some more random observations. First off, despite seeing the beauty in every girl on Sonichu Girls, Chris showed no loyalty and gave us gems like this. Y'all are so sweet, and Crystal is correct, my virginity is special, just like everyone else's, and I would want my first time to be special. I do not mean to start a conflict among all of y'all angels, but in my humble opinion, if I were to choose one among y'all, I'd give it to either Cassie or Sarah. Cassie led me to the forum, and Sarah put it together in the first place. But to be fair, I am open to any of y'all who are capable of coming to meet me IRL. You all each, in your own way on here, have already wowed and won me over, honestly and openly. XOXOXO. In due time, upon your own individual capabilities, I would love very much to personally meet and hang with each and all of you, sweet ladies. If y'all aren't careful, you could turn me from a frustrated virgin to a stud. LOL, I feel so elated and blessed. What kind of a rock star did he think he was exactly? Second, she tweeted out this picture for Mother's Day last year. So Rose Chu spends Mother's Day tweaker cleaning the house? Good lord, Sonichu, make her breakfast or something. Not to mention she has three kids. I will be covering this family in a later video. I feel like the only thing more boring than a male Sonichu protagonist is a female one. Their hobbies are always shopping and cleaning, and yes, eventually the partner that he hooks them up with. And let's not forget that the first time they went to the mall together, Sonichu had to hold on to the money because Rose Chu is a slave to spending when things are on sale. Not that I'm not. Anyway, I think that's about going to do it for today's video. Thanks for watching everyone, thanks to all my subscribers, and if you're new to the channel and enjoyed the video, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe for more of the same.
I'd also like to thank Chris Chan, who apparently is hanging out with a Pikachu named Fate now? I don't know what to think about this. This video was planned for a few days ago, but I obviously just got to it. Coming soon is my 15k subscriber Q&A and a part 2 on Two Worlds. But I am a sellout, so I might spam some Reddit stories to get my numbers up again first. We'll see how things go. By the way, Christine has stated that she doesn't mind being called Chris Chan in case anyone was wondering. Unless that's changed recently or something. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day, everyone. And remember, women be shopping. You cannot stop a woman from shopping.